Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Inside Genesee. I'm Shane Hodges, and today my guest is Corey from Corio Water Solutions. That's Corio Water Solutions at Funnex2O.com. Yes, sir, and uh, it's an exciting time in our city because we as individuals who live here and who believe in this community, we're starting to come together and formulate plans to make this change because we can't, we all know that you can't continue to do the same thing and expect different results. So coming together with uh, Corey and getting our resources together, we are planning on coming to your neighborhood and every neighborhood in the city with a basically a cleanup slash uh, block party. We want to come through every neighborhood, meet with people, talk with people about different concerns in different areas and different needs because they're, every story is different, every situation. One of the things that I, I myself, we all have our, our water crisis, basically everyone's personal water crisis from not being able to pick up the cases of water to not know one where it is or you know just not having the correct information to run with there's so much happening in our community and if people just you know everyone's upset and I understand because I, I am as well but there's so many resources right now you know and to take a step back and look search them out and see how can we utilize the resources that are given to this community I think that's how we're gonna make things happen yeah, that's uh, definitely one of the key things that I wanted to focus on was being able to have the community able to access the resources and know about the different resources and also to have a voice. So that's why I started uh, FluentX2O.com to be a voice for the people. You can go on there and uh, express your different uh, crisis uh, situations, uh, what's going on in your neighborhood, what's going on in different neighborhoods, just to uh, have a voice and a place to go to and see all the different resources that's available for the people that they can uh, reach. I know it's a lot of stuff out there online. You get to hear a lot of different uh, information, but I wanted to have a place that people could trust and uh, this on the up and up. I know it's a lot of different things going on in the uh, community, but I just wanted to be able to, for the people to have a voice. Yes, definitely, because that's the most important part in this whole struggle is the often unheard voice is that of the people. We see the politicians and the, you know, the movers and the shakers making decisions for what's best for them and their administrations or their people, but what about us? You know, at the end of the day, it all falls on our shoulders to either deal with it or step up and make a difference and I believe us as a community is unique because we're we're made from a different cloth this is where the union started we put the world on wheels here in Flint so now it's time for us to show how to bounce back from a tragedy yeah, yeah. so you know some of the things and we've we've bumped into each other throughout all of this some of the resources that you've had alone you know are just amazing yeah from the calculators to the water filters yeah, yeah, I've been out networking with uh, different people, uh, such as yourself, you know, just been uh, watching the uh, true community leaders and uh, reaching out to them. You have a lot of people here that's really trying to make a difference, so, you know, to make a difference, you really have to be the difference. So it's a lot of feuding going on, but it's also a lot of people that truly want to work together and make a difference in Flint and make it strong again, vehicle city, so. Yes, sir, you know, and we're, we're right now, we're in our cities, you know, know the prime of of the season the the back to the bricks are here and all the people are looking at our city and it's you know I I personally feel that the world has a bad view of what Flint is you know they think of the the crime rates and the all the horrible things and never mention the good things like the major universities we have the crim race the back to the you know bricks because once you get so far now 75 it, they don't talk about the bricks yeah. it turns to the dream cruise you know it's isn't it weird how neither one of them talk about each other and it's going on at the same time i didn't really realize it until i mean i have a lot of respect for uh in live and all other uh news channels and everything but we still need our own uh source on a lot of things that affect us and that are for us that uh we can need the direct uncut story on so. 
Right, definitely, because my personal beliefs is we don't we are let down by the local media. We don't get the full story. We get the opinions that they want us to see. Yeah. We see the side of the story that they want us to believe as facts when there's usually two sides to every Always story. Two sides. You know, so that's that's what our aim is and we've created a new Facebook page group. What is it? Flintlands2o.com. Okay. Uh, and then we also have uh, FlintLands2.com uh, events and uh, resources. And then we have the uh, Corio uh, Water Solutions also. But as far as the uh, media and uh, resource, we would uh, like to use the FlintLands2.com Resource uh, Center. That way you guys can uh, look and find the different resources, jobs, water, whatever uh, concerns. If it's available for the people, it should be on there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I, I think it's fantastic what's going on here. This is the rebirth and us as a community with access to these tools that we've never had before as far as the media tools. You know, there's so much we can all do with just our phones. It's fantastic. And I believe, you know, our first project, this neighborhood cleanup, I believe this is what it's going to take to, to start, you know, because what what my goals would be to come into a neighborhood, meet with the people, the leaders of whatever block club or community group they have, and then move forward, clean up, do the cleanup, make sure the neighborhood's walkable for the kids, give the kids a place to play because there's so many open spaces everywhere. You know, to develop them just a little bit with what we have could make a major difference in each community. Because, you know, some neighborhoods are better than others, more taken care of. I think it should fall, all neighborhoods should look the same. Yeah. You know, that's, that's part of the goal of what we're going to do together. Anyone interested in having their neighborhood cleaned up, being a part of the cleanup, because we're going to do, we're going to do it all. We're going to have music we're going to have food we're going to have the equipment the, the, we're looking for resources now people to join in and move this forward to create this living environment that our like i said before our two major resources are our children and you know our children and our elderly are our two major groups that we need to protect it's your past and your future. That's right, you know, and yeah. it's up to us, the, the middle generation. And then uh, we want to put uh, pressure on the uh, police chief, the fire chief, the mayor, the city council, uh, state representatives. We want everybody to come out and uh, help build uh, community relations and let the people know that uh, we care and we all just want to work together. Yes, sir. You know, and, and that's the thing to try to unite us, the public, with the people that we see every four years. Because, you know, when it's campaign time, our problems are their problems. Yeah. They love us kissing babies, but then they go away yes. and enjoy those large paychecks that they asked us to give them. <laughs> right. So that's that's where we're coming from. You know, uh, we have many resources, hashtag Flint, my personal page, where if you need help finding resources or being directed to the right place, let us know because there's so much more. Like I just found out you, if your in income qualifies you, you can get a brand new water heater from the G card on Lippincott. They have hundreds in stock, they said. So that's all stuff See. like that and stuff you don't find out about until it's uh, too late. Too late, right, right. And that's that's what we need. We need those available resources, the bill payments, because I, myself included, I didn't pay for the water while we were going through the crisis. Now it's back, them bills are coming yeah. every month. And you yeah. always hear something uh, different, uh, this break and that break. Right. Just ridiculous. Yes, it is. And it's, you know, the major issue we have and are going to have for a while is the water. So, you know, we're, today we both seen, they're, they're changing pipes. 250 pipes will be changed as soon as possible. And then hopefully with more funding and more uh, available funds to continue will go further mains and you know all different parts of the city one of the things that i think is being you know people are forgetting is 
they they should have been they told communities in the 90s to start preparing for this mm -hmm. start changing your infrastructure out some communities did some didn't for example our our state's capital lansing they had the same problem and they got to work that's who that guy that was doing most of the speaking general mcdaniel that's where he came from lansing and that city went from poison pipes to clean they changed it you know, and I know everyone around from this area driving down Saginaw going through Burton last few summers, it's been horrible with construction, but that's what Burton did. They changed all their pipes out because they all knew. And we're stuck in this city, you know, if you look back, they were saying the balanced budget, the budget's balanced. In the meantime, we're paying the highest rates for poison water. That's how they balance their budget on our backs, you know what I mean? And it's just out cold. Yeah, so I mean, it's a, a bill if you use water or don't, if you, even if you don't turn it on. It's a service bill, I understand. Yes, you get a service charge. The service charge is the expensive part. I see yeah. on the bills, they haven't said anything, but they're still getting money from the state for the water portion. But the service charges is where they hit you. And that's where a lot of people are finding fault because no one's paying nothing not even their sewer bills. So, you know, a lot of large, you know, the state and different uh, organizations are having a hard time donating to people who don't want to, to pay their bills. You know, that's what it's coming out to. But in, on the other side of the coin, us living here, We've been paying these bills for years. And then I know a lot of situations is not that uh, they don't want to pay their bills, right. they can't pay their bills. Right, right, I mean, exactly. A, a hefty uh, lump sum every Yes, month. it is. Yes, it is. Uh, continue to struggle to pay for something that you can uh, use. use or need or that's hurting you. I mean, it doesn't make no sense. I lived in Grand Blanc. I had a duplex, two bathrooms, two kitchens, two toilets. And my water bill every three months wasn't close to what it is per month and I barely touch it because I use all bottled water just for laundry and bathing and like wow <laughs> doesn't make sense but that's what's happening you know the crazy part of all this situation to me is all this money the KWA pipeline 280 million all the money people have made off of the poorest community in the area Flint how does that happen but it does every day, day in and day out. So, you know, it's up to us. Like you said, the future's now. It's time yeah, for us to jump in now. and take over, do what you can, how you can. Network, share information, share resources, pass it through the websites that we mentioned before, and uh, let's get this moving. It's time to take back our community. And we need all our fearless leaders out there. That's right. Step up and be leaders. You know, everyone has their lane. You know, if it's, sometimes people swerve, but that's okay. At the end of the day, if good is being done, who cares who gets the credit? or whose idea it was at least we'll have clean neighborhoods safe streets and you know that is a big issue we need to pressure the police and the county sheriff and the state police to come in and make this community safe yeah it's lawless and you know we're nobody likes being pulled over but if you're wrong you're wrong yeah, you're you wrong, shouldn't be wrong. stealing you don't want to get caught right uh, that's what the uh, laws are there for. We definitely want want them to be able to do their uh, job. We, uh, I don't think it'll be a good city without police. So we definitely always uh, need the police and their support. And we just need to work together. Yes, sir. To do what's best for our kids, our uh, grandparents, parents, and ourselves. Yes, and ourselves. It, it's so, you know, it'd be such a relief to sleep in bed at night and not hear those choppers and choppers and choppers all night long. It's like we're in a war zone, man. It's, yeah, it's definitely the ground zero. And, and you know, like me, like a lot of other people, I own my house. I'm not going anywhere. I thought, you know, when I made this purchase that I was setting some foundation for my family. I own my home, get them in the schools and the community, see how I can get involved to make a difference. Who knew it was this deep of a problem, but it is what it is, and uh, I'm a fighter. I'm going to stand up.
Yeah, to get the rug pulled from under you with no support. Right. Right. Exactly. And that's why we uh, elected the officials that's uh, in there. Um, like I said, I know that they're really trying to make a difference. So I just like to see them do their job and make the right votes that uh, really count for the people. That's right. That's right. Me too. So with that, we're going to wrap it up. Make sure you check out the website, Flint H2O. FlintH2O.com and uh, FlintH2O.com uh, events and uh, resources. And uh, always like to give a big shout out to Channel 17. Thank them for their support in the uh, community. And uh, we'd like to see their future plans also. That's right. And uh, don't forget to like and share. Have a great day.